secret. Magical buildings come in all shapes and sizes. And each and every one has its own unique secret. It might be a portal in a wardrobe or perhaps in the chimney. It could even be a magical hidden room. There are many possibilities. Allow me to show you in this image. Says you see, they had a we've covered all of the bases. Room too, huh? Your homework will be to write a report on a magical building. Yes? Then that will be all for today, class. <laughs> Ahem! Have you forgotten? It's one of our most important rules. Tie your purse, then you, you shall, shall be free. free. These textbooks should help us a lot with our report. 1001 Labyrinths. Secret rooms and those who live what there. What is your basement hiding? Why don't we study our own school? Surely we have secrets of our own. The boys' school had one, so why not? We had an entire secret room Ugh, with a minotaur. You had a minotaur? We did. He's our principal, and that room was where he graded our homework. Remember the attic with the ghost rock band? <laughs> ghost, oh, ghosty, fly away. Oh, yeah. I bet we have tons of stuff like that here. Who wants to do the report on our school then? Say I. They're called secrets for a reason. You could spend the whole time searching only to find nothing. We're still going to try. How should we begin? Where do schools usually hide the secrets? Well, the Minotaur's room was connected to the library. What about the cafe? Then we could make some tea. We should check in the hallway. There's a cold draft in there that always makes me shiver. Couldn't that come from a secret passageway? Why don't we split up then? We can cover more ground. The Minotaur's room could be opened up by pulling on a particular book. But which is the correct one? Well, that depends. Ours is on the very top shelf. Ah, uh, this one. Uh, uh, everything's okay. Uh, everything's fine. Uh. Oh, well. I guess there is no portal here after all. In fairy tales, magical creatures get into houses through the fireplace. Maybe there's a portal here in our chimney. And there could also be a dangerous creature hiding in there. Ah! Don't be afraid. I will protect us. I'm not afraid. I just didn't expect it. Hey, who else is there? Come out. <coughs> <coughs> no portal there. It's all clean. <laughs> uh-huh. It couldn't be cleaner. Looks like no secret passages here. Let's go look in the classroom. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? How do we get out of here? I'll handle this. I don't understand. This invisible wall wasn't here before. Then let's try to remove the spell. May this barrier disappear so we can all get out of here. It's still there. Let me try. Snares, tricks, and booby traps make them all collapse. Doria, watch out for the invisible wall! I wonder what that was. Oh dear, who took all the paintings off the wall? Well, we were, uh, looking for a secret passage. Rooney, Doria can't see us. But she can see the painting, can't she? Oh, it's a flying painting! Shoo! Uh, show her. Doria, it's us, Rooney and Dorma. We're trapped in the hallway and can't get out. Please help. It's a mess in here, too. What has everyone been doing? Oh, come on. We were just about to start cleaning everything up. Bruni and Dorma are both invisible, but why? Osco, she can't see us either. There just has to be a book in here somewhere that can help me figure this out. <gasps> Who's there? Helen? Vosco? I need the history of Wondermont School. There must be something in it that will help me undo the spell. Let's look for it together. There it is! Magical characteristics. Aha! Uh -huh. The school does everything it can to aid in lessons. That's all? How is that supposed to help? Helen! Vosco! You can see us! Yay! 
then we're no longer trapped in the library. Remember the school's rule the professor was talking about? Tidy up first, then you shall be free. Now do you see? We found out that if someone makes a mess, the school doesn't let them leave the room. It makes them invisible, so they can't be distracted from cleaning. And that is the secret of your, I mean, our school. I don't understand. Why hasn't this happened to us before? There was never a problem keeping things tidy before. But in pursuit of secrets, you crossed the line somewhat. As for the report, everyone gets an A. Well done. <laughs> yes. That is all for today. <laughs> don't forget to take your books along with you. Hmm. What bright students they are. So quick to catch on, too. The Memento Box. Ladies, ta-da! Take a look at this. What is it? Is it some kind of loom? It's a time <laughs> machine. Not a bad guess, but no, let me show you. Thanks, Professor. Take a look at what I have here. This is my very own Memento Music Box. Oh, so beautiful! We made these when I was in school. It's a memento. That reminds me of my dear friends. I'd love to make a box like that. It's the perfect school souvenir. Exactly. That is why we are working with this device. So you girls can make a memento box of your own. Yes, look. You arrange yourselves up here on the circle. Like so. Dressed elegantly. And it would be nice if you all planned on doing something original. What do you girls think we should do to make this memorable? What if we jump in the air? We can line up by height. We can do that and jump. Maybe the main thing is to show our best amazing selves. Hmm. Our best amazing selves. an uncommon dandelion like this one, a milk flower, and some rainbow berries. The brighter your hair, the brighter the memory will be. Common dandelion, uncommon dandelion, milk flower. There we are. I think that should be about enough. And rainbow berries. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn my hair into rainbow stripes. Tomorrow, I'll wake up with rainbow hair. <gasps> what happened? Why did my hair turn green? What am I going to do? I'll ruin the memento. No more than one berry, and I threw two in there. The fruit of the hermit tree can help to reverse any side effects. Okay, don't touch anything. I see. The hermit tree will help fix this. I need to go there. Lisa, time to get up. Lisa. Oh, no. <gasps> Girls, look. I think Lisa's gone somewhere. It's a map. It looks like an enchanted thicket. Whatever she's up to, it looks like Lisa's in danger. I mustn't touch anything with my hands or my feet. I'm looking for a comb. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. I'll be very careful. Thank you. Here it is. Yes, I know. I'm not allowed to touch anything in the Enchanted Gardens. I only need just one of your lovely cones. <laughs> Oh, dear. Can't you please make an exception for me? <gasps> now what do I do? My hair will be green forever. It's all my fault. The memento will be ruined. Girls, does anyone want some raspberries? Look how beautiful they are. Dorma, you can't touch anything here. Didn't you see the warning? Just 
one fairy! Don't uh, uh, When you are told not to touch anything, don't touch anything! Run! Girls, wait a minute! I need to get a crown! No way, Lisa! You're not going back! By the way, why is your hair green? That's the point! I wanted rainbow-colored hair for the memento! It's supposed to be an amazing memory to be cherished! But my hair turned out not amazing! That's why I came to the forest to try and fix it! And we got scared and came to save you! Yes, and in the end, you saved us! Funny, isn't it? Yes, but I never got a chance to get a comb! Don't be upset, Lisa. We still have our friendship, after all. Who wants a box, anyway? Greeting cards are way better! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Don't worry. We'll figure out something for your hair, too. That's enough, Doria. Dorma, stay out of this. Doria knows what she's doing. Drink this. That should do the trick. But it might take some time to work. What if it just makes it worse? I could have green hair forever. Well then, I'll be green too. Yes! Sometimes I even dream that I have green hair. So I'll all be green. It'll be fun playing hide and seek in the bushes. Very well, then. Now let's go. Here come our princesses now. I'm sure that you've come up with something interesting. Apparently. At least Lisa certainly has. Well, are you ready? Mr. Immortal. How clever. What a bright idea. Whenever did you manage to make your hair so colorful? The Magical Repair Shop. Hey, listen. I don't get it. Why are you so sensitive? You stepped on my foot five years ago and I didn't say a thing. Not a word. Not even a peep. I forgave you right away, remember? <coughs> Fire, water, earth, and air. And then I need... Aha! Mm -hmm. Easy as pie. And I learned how to paint. Water and fire. <clears throat> Can someone explain why we're doing this? They dragged in junk from the basement and it's all right, now fix it. Are we training to open a repair shop? I like it. Just a little more and we'll have a wonderful pot. Mm-hmm. Congrats on your wonderful pot. You're just angry because you can't fix anything yourself. Who, me? I just don't want to waste my time on this. And the professor said this was an optional assignment. Hup. So do it if you want, or don't. Either way, I'm out of here. Playing outside in the fresh air, that's what I recommend. You can join me if you want to. <laughs> It. Guess nobody else is coming. Well, fine. All right, enough already. Uh, oh, truce. I owe you an, an uh. Oh, what if I kick and use a spell at the same time? Why didn't I think of this before? Now, if only I can remember the spell. Uh, fly high like an arrow. Something. Hmm. Up to the sky, maybe? Oh! You're making this so difficult! Maybe you'll grace the sky! Okay, kapow! Wow, we! <sighs> it's all because you took offense! You could be at home, your chimney would still be in place, and I was about to say, well, I almost said it, but don't rush me! I nearly apologized! Ah, what's the matter? We'll fix your chimney. <laughs> After all, I'm the strongest magic user of all. Oh. oh! That's not the spell. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Oh! <laughs> Looks like I set the wrong process in motion. How do I stop it? I've got to stop it now. My dear sweetheart, don't get any smaller. Wait just a moment. I'll be back. What happened to it? <laughs> you could almost send it to kindergarten. 
Did I do that? The ball hit the chimney and there must have been something important in there. Oh no, what did I do? My magic can be a bit, well, it's hard to explain. Uh, how do I put it? Um, Destructive, perhaps? Yes, and now I'm trying to be, you see, um, hmm... Well, Constructive, it seems. Yes, that's it. I can't do it. Please help me. Help your old friend. When exactly were we ever friends? Well, 200 years ago. Don't you remember? I was a cute little blonde girl. Huh? Hmm. Please, Mr. Immortal, you must hurry. It's going to disappear. I won't play any dirty tricks, I promise. For a week. No, a month. A month. Two months. Hmm? <sighs> Rooney? What's the matter? I'm afraid that I really messed up and recited a spell wrong and, well, I knocked the chimney off Baba Yaga's hut and then it started to shrink. You did? Mm-hmm. What does the chimney have to do with it? Maybe there was something important inside it. What do you mean? But girls, I feel sorry for it. It's going to be so tiny soon. What can we do? It's simple. We were just studying all kinds of repairs today. Of course, my book. Yes, here it is. Ah, look. Yes, yes, that's the spell. Can you help me, girls? Of course, let's go. Wow, it's tiny. Hello, don't be alarmed. Come on, girls. <laughs> Little to the left, right there. Be careful. All right, Rooney, begin now. Mm -hmm. Fire, water, earth and air. Each has magic everywhere. Hooray! Well done, Rooney. Shall we give it a try? <laughs> Come on now, grow! <gasps> uh, uh, it's all my fault. Please forgive me. I'm the one who broke your chimney. We tried to fix it, but... Mm, actually, it, uh, it broke all by itself. <laughs> what do you mean? You're making this difficult. Ah! Well, are you satisfied? Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah! That's what happened. Well done, girls. I was certain you were going to fix the chimney either way. Well, yes, and we just had extra practice today on, well, on how we can repair anything, but... Yes, right, exactly what I mean. Yes, but it didn't help. The hut is still small. That is for a completely different reason. You did it. Thank you. Time to go. Hut, let's head home. Don't forget your promise. I had my fingers crossed. Ha ha ha! Oh! Mm, incorrigible. Time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream, they're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls, I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Oh, no. What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers. Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now. Come back to life. Now move. What should I do? Oh, I've got to get help. <laughs> Hi, Marlene. Daria, why are you running? To find help. Ah, oh, Marlene. Thank goodness you're back already. Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power. You have? That's wonderful. Show me. Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look, I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. 
Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying. No need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Oh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Oh, Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls. And she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look over there. Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Stop her, Professor! No. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the Professor. Pretending oh. to be oh. one of our best! Teach us! Ow. Professor, I'll cut off her escape! What are you doing? Stop! <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid. Or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues. Turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Who? Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right, but let's keep it our little secret. Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed. These are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place. No doubt about it. Ah, uh, hmm. We've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, 
first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal. But the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card, but I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at the spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine. What if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm. Does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh, my brothers never gave flowers. I know, knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. Oh, goodness, look over there. It's a knight. How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up a knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry. It's too late. Our poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh. Do you hear that clanking? That's him. Uh, why is the witch's hut here? Oh, no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes, it was him all along. He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight. Hmm. He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? award you the order of, um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that?
Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leet soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us. Eclairs and donuts. And little tarts, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> Midnight magic. <gasps> Ooh, is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Daria, what are you waiting for? The perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh, between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. <laughs> and do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. What is at A2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. 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 <gasps> <gasps> I'm worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's a scary one. Ooh. On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Doma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. Oh, but why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> no! Go away! Archie, go now! Daria, do something fast! I don't know how!
it in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question remains, who among you cast this spell? I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Doria. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Wherever you are. And we won't try to cast it. Very good, well done. Tomorrow, we will go through every book in the library. Then, we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about. But Mr. Immortal, today is Saturday. And tomorrow is Sunday. So you girls will have all day long to complete the task, won't you? Mm -hmm.